and back. Create the pony brigade. Here we go. I got troops now. Yay. And I already researched the equine rifle. Good. Oh my god, they're actual fucking ponies. First drill. After the drill instructor had completed his customary walk through the two rows of new recruits standing sharply at attention, he was uncharacteristically speechless. Normally at this point, he would be isolating those that were... We oh, where did he go? <laughs> that were, you know, slowed down to one or two. That were weak, vilicking, or otherwise seemed unsure of what they were doing, and gave them an, em an enemy to hate and a reason to be motivated. However... How were you supposed to do uh, such a thing with a talking pistol horse? <laughs> For all he knew, they might trample him if the shouting got too loud. Finally, he stopped overthinking, roared of sense at all of them, and together they marched to the playground, the area where their physical abilities would be tested. At least here would be familiar ground. First were the unicorns. They lost their breath running around the field within 10 minutes. But when it came to test their marksmanship, they were almost cr all crack shots. More importantly, they held the guns aloft with glowing magic, which they could also use to lift heavy equipment, vault themselves over climbing the climbing walls, and a whole host of other things. As they carried on, the drill instructor noted every detail he observed, and he began mentally def uh, drafting the combat rules they would play perfectly. My favorite one. I'm, I'm just in because I love Pegasus. Next were the Pegasi! With wings, running around the course was irrelevant, so instead he had the most promising unicorn levitate several hoops and made them fly, in them increasingly uh, made them fly increasingly complicated maneuvers until they collapsed with exhaustion. Living planes, perfect for paratroopers, carrying supplies to the front and recon. Do you know how hard it would be to spot a four-foot pony in the sky doing recon? Very difficult. Yeah. Great for artillery reservists, too. Finally came the bulk of recruits. Who had been waiting nervously and watching the earth watching earth ponies no special abilities that were immediately apparent but clearly but clearly built differently as they continued marching climbing digging and training continuously with no breaks until the sun set and they could still do more <laughs> as he sat back in his office enjoying it a quiet moments once the day's train day's training had concluded the drill instructor realized that he had been given the perfect materials to make an army with and by God, he would make the best damn army either world has ever seen. I just really, yeah, that would suck because like you could shoot a rifle from cover without poking your head out. With yes, you can. No recoil. Yeah, how do you how do you deal with that? Uh, explosive. <laughs> but then they can make shields. More high explosive. <laughs> but then they can catch it and throw the, shoot the high explosive back at you. If it's like the force, you're going to have to concentrate, right? I Honestly, I don't know. I think so. Okay. Right. I, uh, so theoretically, if you, they, can get one, if you can get a high explosive round going fast enough, yeah, there's nothing that pony's going to no, do. No, like, even it. if they catch like one machine gun's firing at them, they're stopping all these bullets, but they have to hold all these bullets and then focus on throwing them back at the same time. So all you got to do is just overwhelm them. Theoretically, yeah. That's Fire from covering, you should be fine. And... Yeah, pretty much. That's what you would have to do. And they've never really experienced, I don't think, anything like these weapons. No. Oh my god, I got Pony of Human Generals. Uh, media personality and reckless. You fucking suck. Politically connected and a career officer. Okay, you're just going to be a fucking field marshal. Trickster. Infantry leader. Excellent. Oh, it's Pavel. Hi, Pavel. Welcome. You are my infantry leader. I wonder who, I don't know who I'm going to war with next or first, so. How is my construction? Oh, I now have a whopping two factories. Ha 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 ha. Okay, you can speed it up now. Ready? Yep. I don't, I'm not producing anything, so. Yeah, it's gonna be like that for a little while. I know, that's fine by me, though. Republic of Turkey declares war on somebody. War in the desert. Palestine. Human volunteers, low manpower. You don't say. God, your character's portrait. The I know. 
The human volunteers, armies that are not unusually characteristic. Right? Oh, right. fuck, I have to do the civil rights thing after this. Great acceptance of difference and un understanding towards la la laggards. Uh, wait, hold on. Important moment. Oh. I got a quarter. Uh, heads, I go with the Kennedy plan and do the civil rights. Tails, uh, we veto civil rights. No, that's fine. I got it. doing another focus right now. Right, well, I'm also researching or reading this, so. Heads or tails, go. Oh, it's heads. It's heads, okay. So you're going with? We're going the Kennedy plan, and we're going to accept the Civil Rights Act. All right. Yay. Harmony B. Okay, so you're safe. Armies are not unusually characterized by their ready acceptance of differences and understanding towards laggards, and the Army of Harmony, being assembled by Brooklyn State, was no difference. At first, the newly acquired instructor of the Fifth Revolutionary Brigade mixed, almost gave up entirely, and requested that either his human recruits take the guns off and become ponies or to join a human brigade and stop embarrassing themselves trying to compete with the indefatigable earth ponies, the flying pegasi, or the magic un magical unicorns. But then he waited and watched. Even as the ponies laughed, the humans marched on. They had been determined to keep their form, and they would not let it hold them back. Slowly, bit by bit, the humans first began to catch up with the earthlings. That is fucking terrifying. <laughs> then marching their pace. When yeah, they don't, cannot, don't underestimate humans, bro. I know. They cannot. They still ran until they collapsed. And then their comrades stopped and carried them to the finish line. Finally, it struck the ponies. Their goal was not just to join the army, but to become a purely military unit. It was to become a unit of harmony. And if these men were not following the ideals of their true associates, then who was? Then they realized their folly and were after, and after apologizing, began competing twice as hard watching over the peoples of two species, exer exer exerting themselves in friendly competition, but watching out for each other's backs. The instructors realized what a truly magical brigade he had on the good fortune to be training. I hate that pun. True, but can you imagine a human just basically running from day's end, day's beginning to day's end, in a full-blown fucking sprint? Yes. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I can imagine that, surprisingly. It may be, may be surprising, but yes. I don't know how fucking terrifying that'd be. Ch chase you down, you would just die tired. <laughs> uh, only ponies in charge. Uh, decreases minority rights, equal rights, or still the same? Uh, I'm going to do my best to keep this game going as long as possible, so anything that would like potentially lead to World War III, I'm going to avoid. Yeah, so let me just read these here. While Combat Brooklyn was the first to volunteer to transform into a plane. Not all of our comrades have fallen in his hoofsteps. Mm. Hey, you mean to uh, lower the speed? Uh, sure. It's paused right now, but press play. Uh, I know. And Russia still cling to their humanity and are afraid to transform out of some misbegotten fear about talking ponies. Still, many of these people are otherwise loyal and true comrades. As a result, we should integrate them so I get more stability, more communism support, less daily political power gain, and it modifies the first Yada yada. Events still the same. Or do I go with only ponies in charge? Only ponies can truly grasp what it means to be in harmony. Only ponies can even understand the concept of harmony. And only they can see it fulfilled to its fullest extent. Despite these already established facts, many positions of power in the lands under our administration remain in the hands of humans. It is this is of course unacceptable for our nation can only prosper if it follows the trends of harmony. As such, all administrative positions are to be granted only to ponies and ponies alone. If all humans currently inhabiting said positions remove from the from them effective immediately for the sake of our collective prosperity. Less stability, more political power. Decreases minority rights. Uh this one seems better because it's best more stability and communism support, but less political power gain. And uh, this one, the utopian ideal. I'm trying to figure out which one is, uh, leads me to fucking just conquering shit. Eh, fuck it. Amidst the holdouts just has better, it's better stability and better communism support, which I fucking need, so. All right, you can speed up now. Radio. 
Fuck, I might have to play this again and just go the exact opposite of what I'm doing now. Now, at this point, I'm just going to go where it fucking takes me. How about that? That's the best way to do it. Okay, now I can research my industry because I already got anti tank. Yawning so much. What? I'm yawning like so much. My fucking like eyes are watering. Yeah, when I come over, you want me to get food for everyone? Uh, Mom and Barry are leaving at 5 to go to this thing. I know, it's 5. Oh, yeah, they've left already then. Uh, I mean, I guess. I don't know. I've... I'm going to try that little. How late, how late is Little Caesar open? I think like 10. The question is, do I want to come over? Do I want to come over today, or t I don't know what I want to do. Uh, it's be, up to you. To be honest, I just kind of want to fucking relax. I've so yeah, just come over tomorrow then. Come like no one, no one's gonna make you come over. Yeah, fuck it. I'll come over tomorrow during the day, and then when Jillian comes, supposed to come over, I'll come back home. Miss the holdout. Yeah, then let's get uh send the workers to the mines. Oh yeah, twenty per month. Fuck yeah, give me them crystals. These crystals are pretty good. This do a study to increase research speed by 5%. You've got three pony on hooves divisions. I know, I got on, on hooves divisions. Uh, Still the same. Yes. Well, what do you think? I'll get the mares now, huh? Somehow, despite turning into a horse, I can still... I can see you are still very Whoa. angry down there, you poor bastard. That doesn't usually happen. What happened? I didn't get a chance uh, to do it. The People's Revolutionary Council usually wins. Oh, that's not good. No. Well, I mean, depends. Well, actually, it depends, yeah. I mean, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Unicorn and man laughed as they shared a drink. The day's work done. Sergey has once lost his right arm, resulting of a hurried amputation, when a piece of shrapnel had worked its midship. Yet, once he had decided to take up Brooklyn's offer, as it was now being referred to, he gained use of all of his limbs again, even if there were somewhat different use. Nikolai walked with a cane and was deaf in his left ear. But knew that he wanted to die with the face he had been, yeah, that had been with the last thing his mother has ever seen. Even though he had to admit it was very amusing watching his old friend juggle bottles in midair with his magic, such wonders would forever remain behind, beyond him. Whether course pony or not, they could always, they could and always would have the one, uh, have a cold one or two after a long days. I remember about the time long ago when they were still young and wild, and Ro had so much to offer. Sergei had regained his body and vitality, even if his mind was old. And it was a testament to his will that he could stand amongst the idealistic youth. Okay, cool, yeah, workers to the mines. Youth that he had signed up in droves to accept the offer and not seem so out of place. So, of course, he tried once. Fuck you! Once more and yada yada yada. Uh. Okay. Decreases month gain but increases storage. Increases month gain but decreases capacity by 50, by 10. Our economy become more decentralized by 10. Our economy become more centralized by 10. Which one's better? You're authoritarian, so centralization of the state's probably best. That's what I kind of figured. I was gonna go for that anyways because it's more income per, per month, so it's 30 per month instead of just 20 and then 10, so. I have low manpower, you don't say. Unassigned divisions. Oh! Oh, this is the human, the human mixed Wait, race human division. Did you see that? The IRS job requiring use of deadly force on applications? <laughs> like, if you are part of the IRS, you have to be, like, required to be able to use deadly force. To be trained to use deadly force. That's On mine, I understand that shit. But for the IRS? Yeah, for the IRS. That's confusing. For the IRS, that makes no fucking sense. That's a bit suspicious. That is a little bit suspicious. The economy. <laughs> My GDP is 0.12B. <laughs> Zero. What's, what is it? My I'm GDP. It's fucking shit. Your GDP is one hundred and twenty thousand. No. A different yes. rate of workers. Yeah, it's just one hundred twenty thousand dollars. The rumbling of engines and plumes of dust fill the every morning air. Trucks pulling it out of the yard and into the roads or onto the roads, piled high with mining equipment and men and women whom. 
who were to use it. Well, men, women, and ponies. The last group was a little more than a little more off-putting to Maskin, who had been working in the mines of Siberia for most of his life. He already felt overwhelmed by the integration of ponies into everyday society. Then he had learned that his first job under the new northern Siberian government was to work with a newly discovered crystal mine alongside these ponies. Thus, he found himself squeezed between two strange creatures after hopping in a truck destination for the mines. As we began to ride along the road, it was quite it was quite as a tomb. The only sound made by the vehicles and the occasional shuffling of men and ponies. Eventually, the sound was broken by one of the younger men who had yet to work on large-scale projects like this. He raised the question of technique, which Maxman was well versed in. But as he opened his mouth to answer, the pony beside him spoke up. It turns out that he had misjudged the ponies, both in age and in experience. This one, the one to his right, was an old hand in the business and had volunteered to be ponified to help the streamlining of interspecies operations. The one to his left was a veteran of the West Russian War. After being one of, after being one of the first term ponies, he was one of the few security person ponyo tasked to this project. For the oddness uh, to that, Mix still couldn't get over. It was hum ponyizing to hear their stories and mentor the young amongst the group together. By the time they arrived at the mine, Mix was starting to see these ponies in a little different light. Maybe we can get along. God, the puns are horrible. I hate it. The dedication to this spot is ridiculous, though. It is. I got a two-year, what is it, two-year draft for conscription? Which one do you think is the best one, other than obviously fucking, you know, volunteer for just bonuses? Yeah, I think I'll keep just, I think I'll keep two-year draft. Military yeah, you don't want to maximize as much manpower as you can, so I'd keep what you have the way it's set up, I think. Or if I want to maximize, increase? I could increase it to like four years. Mm -hmm. okay, that takes out my output speed. No thanks, I'll keep this. Training. Minimal training. I don't normally like that. Trial by fire. <laughs> I'm tempted to switch to combat schooling. Less mobilization speed. Less minimum training or more training or no yeah. More training level minimum. But better attack. More cost modifier. Better everything. I'm tempted to do that since I don't have a lot of troops anyway, so might as well make them best. Oh, I can't. Seems like it. a pretty decent strategy there. Yeah, I can't change it. Hmm. I guess I gotta wait. No draft exemptions. Yeah, sorry. Unemployment trinkle subsidies. Hmm. You wanna speed it up again? Oh, oops. That was already sped up? No. Daily labor organizations. Alright, let's do a uh, rifle for. Oh. Uh, holds in Scotland. Most mornings, the overseer prefers to spend a day with coffee and newspaper. Today was different. His workers had begun to protest. They needed to remember who was a boss around here, even if it meant training a new crew in the coals of Siberia, far from the warmth of his office. The crew only needed a few hours of preparation. Frankly, the work was more brain than brawl, especially given the bright glimmer of the crystals. The only hiccup was moral, morale. With protests raging in the center of the mining encampment, there was no way to avoid the nature of the work. The overseer could only call these. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, Johnny, yeah. Have fun with that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to end up pretty quick. Uh, no way to avoid the. The overseer could only call these men temporary workers for so long. These men were scabs. And with the protest raging, they certainly knew it. By the time the new crew was ready to enter the mines, most had accepted their place. Only one nervous worker stayed behind, suddenly struck with a pain of guilt. Brief moment of defiance, he turned to his boss. What stops us from joining the other protests? 
Confused, the overseer took a moment and answered, Nothing, really. Though they probably hate you for the scab work. Oh, god damn it. Whatever. Alright, research is done. Theoretically, yeah, now I got, uh, hooves on hooves and the humans. What's the, what's the difference? I forgot how I opened two, two designs at the same time. I don't know if you can. Okay, well, alright, I'm just gonna, well, I don't need to worry can about it. Turn the speed down? Yeah, just a or... little bit. Drafting harmony now. Let's see, so with the human, oh, hey, K47 done. More industry. Define all explanation. The bipedal man created, or man sighed heavily before looking up upon his clipboard. So, comrade Blanket, could you please pick up the pen on the desk in front of you? An opponent named Blanket, who had been picking things up for close to six hours by this point, sighed as well. Despite her expression, she picked up the pen. How? They don't even have fingers. It should be impossible. Blanket like put the pen down. One scientist was curled up on the flat floor, sobbing about something <laughs> involving his PhD in physics. <laughs> that wasn't even the worst breakdown she had seen in the last hour. Comrade Blanket, how? How do you? How? What? I'm sorry, my comrade. I don't even know how it works. I just pick things up without really thinking about it, and it just happens. She replied a line that had already memorized five hours ago. This information did not satisfy the scientist. One man scrapped his clipboard over his knee and uh, snapped his clipboard over his knee and left the room. That's she humorous. I like that. She, she sighed as another group of scientists rushed into the room, asking why everyone was freaking out so much. She knew that she was going to be here all night. Could you pick up the pencil again? But this time, think about it. I love the guy that's just crawling on the floors, sobbing about his PhD in physics. Let's see, so regular human division. It is four kilometers speed. Point of division is, oh, 6.4 kilometers. Damn. On foot? On foot. Yeah, that's good. 4.0 for regular troops of mine. Well, I guess infantry that I yeah. don't. Same for my me. National Guard. My HP for my humans is 120. For the ponies, it's 168. I think the ponies are just better in every way, shape, and form, evidently. They are. Uh, when you get the chance, you start unifying a bit more and conquer. You're going to want to expand your division's attack with. Yeah. You want to keep it in intervals of 20, if I remember correctly. Uh, not anymore. Oh, the yeah, update, no. it doesn't matter. Well, it sort of does. I uh, I don't really pay much attention to it oh. anymore. I'm going to pause it because i got a large thing to read now. Go Defining harmony. So then, the basis of workers' expression. Free harmonic council of acting representatives who come together in the spirit of brotherhood and friendship to exercise supreme legislative power. What nonsense. Without a friendship vanguard supreme all over the others in security and unity of purpose, the new state cannot guarantee. Friendship vanguard. So the butchers and tyrants will call themselves our best friends now before they fire the killing shot. As the smoke, and endless cigar as the smoke of endless cigarettes swirl around his head and blocked out already the dim light bulb. Buckner thought warily on how some people never seem tired of speculating endlessly on how society ought to be ordered, down to every last detail, before they had even lifted their headquarters out of their chair. Gentlemen and ponies, we're missing the point. Harmony does not refer to how society is ordered. It refers to why it is ordered. Rather than exploiting our fellow beings, we work with them, with the knowledge and trust that they work with us too. Several heads of different types looked at each other confused. Surely this is just the end goal of communism itself. What does harmony add to this question? Roman Buckram had no answer. It was a good question. Then he began. From the very beginning, our means, method, and end must be friendship. When we reach out to the public, we seek, we seek to genuinely befriend them, one by one, and then only then ask them in spirit if a uh, spirit of comrade, com, comrade, comradely, Humility, if they wish to help us in the creation of this new society. Forget worker councils or vanguard parties or anything else. Our fundamental units are drinking, sh sh uh, drinks shared after work, birthday parties, shoulder to thump when you cry a, a shoulder, t a shoulder to thump 
when you cry laughing and hold when you are simply crying. Even if they lack our ideological conversations or convictions, friendship comes first. This is what I mean. The rest can come later. Now go out and make some friends. Dismissed. Fuck your friends. All right. Not a bad order to get in the military. Just be like, go out, make friends. It's like, damn, that's it. So the ponies also have 10 more organizations than 60. Uh, an even better recovery rate by 0.10. No reconnaissance. Uh, suppression, 6 for humans. For my ponies, 12. Weight, 3 for the ponies. Same for the humans. Civil rights act. It has been Congrats. passed. Ah, the ponies have more supply usage. Not as reliable, evidently. But combat stats. So what, what's your soft attack for your infantry? Just base. Ooh. Oh, just like the battalion? Yeah, the one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, uh, a regular infantry. Oh, I got to get into a template that doesn't have foot units in it. It just has the okay. six uh, divisions. I guess. My defense is 55, breakthrough 15, soft attack 13.6, heart attack 6.2, suppression 1.5, air attack 1, organization 2.4, and HP 25. Oh, you're talking, about, you're talking about your uh, just your regular... Huh? Like your regular infantry? Yeah, just uh, the battalion alone? Yeah. Like so, not looking at the division, just battalion, right? Oh, no, the division. So a division of six. You're you're really laggy. Oh fuck me. Oh, you're lagging. Yeah, it is. I will pause the game. And that's being weird right now. Can you hear me now? Uh, I heard the now part of that. Okay, it's internet. Nah, you're you're full robot right now. How about now? Yes, I hear you. It's the internet being shit. I mean, the division of like total of six, like your standard division. Uh, I don't have divisions of six. Where you have one, two, three, my four, National five, Guard six. are nine. Nine. All right, my I guess I'll just tell you my one. So my nine. one, like the pony division, it's defense of 37, breakthrough of 11, soft attack of 11, heart attack of 5.9. Suppression of 2, and air attack of 1, and HP so, of 28. HP of what? 28. So you have a higher HP and higher suppression, but that's it. What's your breakthrough? 15.3, uh, defense 55.6, soft attack 13.6, heart attack 6.2. Yeah, However, one. that might be because of my technology and doctrines. That could be it as well. Because yeah, like for me, I don't have any, so my basic, like my ponies are just... My soft attack is 66 for my pony division. My human division, 63.4. Heart attack, 35.4 for the ponies. 9 for the uh, humans. And then air defense is 185. Damn it, it's rebutting again. Of course it is. EB robotting again. All right, how about now? Yes, you're good. It's weird. The Lobster War ends. What? No fucking idea. Oh. Ah, okay, we have uh, man pads now. Yeah, I ain't got no infantry equipment. All right, time to construct standard infantry equipment, I guess. Standard infantry, the red eye. standard equine, and standard uh, support. Yep, give me that. No templates for my support equine. Really? Damn. It's kind of disgusting. No, what, you don't have use for support equipment? Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, I mean, you are in northern Siberia. You've basically given ponies, mows, and the gods and said, do your thing. Pretty much. All right, speed it up.
Okay. Speed tree. I'm gonna get a few some infantry equipment after this, thank God. So yeah, for rifle for hooves, rifle for hands. No wait, do I have okay. Nowhere near enough of coin rifles. Well, that's one f okay, but I do have enough for human division, so that's good. Uh, I can only produce two human divisions. Scrape together. Uh, I'm not gonna read this one. I'm just it's just now more. Uh, what's it called? How we got rifles. What? Uh, it was just a pop up. It was a lore thing on how we got rifles, I guess. Okay. Do I want a utopian ideal or spread the word? Which fucks my attacks. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, interspecies cooperation. We'll do that. And then I'll get the last final three. I know I got no template. Uh, let's do... Get some factory output going, so use the crystals for the factory output. Could use them. There we go. I think they're speaking Russian. Well, oh, I need to Google if you can save Kennedy. I don't think you can. Species cooperation, excellent. Here we are, first trial. Yeah, I need to really get my uh, the drill. Okay, I'm gonna pause it now. I like reading this. All right, everyone. Lieutenant Alan Vokula whispered across the radio. I want the humans to flank left, the ponies up the set, up the middle, move out, and take the hill. Cadet uh, General Rishk nodded his nodded his assistant, as did the creatures around him. Human opponent like the Fifth Revolutionary Brigade was one of the first units of the Pink Army to be made up of both species living in the Union. As such, the Grenadier felt it was as if their duty to prove that harmony could triumph even more. Moving out, Gener uh, Generish and two other ponies, both unicorns, stalked their way through the underbrush. Hearing a rustle ahead, he raised his hoof, calling to a halt, cautiously raising his pellet gun into the air. A small image shot out from the bushes, chattering in its wake, and a group sighed in relief. A sudden hail of pelts uh, exploded around them, cutting any relief short. The pony that the grins left was hit, and he moved and he moved her gently around the lip of a small mount. He raised his head to peek above, but had to duck to avoid taking a round to the face. We're cut off. He shouted into his mic, "We need help." The voice, a second voice, cracked over the radio. Just a moment. Storm of pillows was cut off by a series of shouts and distant, distant bangs, and then fell silent once again. Footsteps crunching through the snow before a human hand was. Thrust it up into the ditch, accepting it. Okay, pushed himself up, giving a nod to the human who had helped him. Good, now let's take that hill. Fuck your hill! I'm pressing play. There's a way to save Kennedy, okay. You're trying okay, to save him, okay, This is huge. Oh, your president is Kennedy, isn't it? Not yet, but when he does become president, I want to try and save him. Oh, it's Richard Nixon. Focused. I'm not a crook. Yes. Potential crook. You know, I really should look into the Watergate, Watergate scandal just to see what it's all about, just because it was so massive. And yet, I'm looking at the shit our political parties pull nowadays, and I'm just thinking, is wiretapping your opponent's office really that bad compared to what this shit's been doing now? Um, Watergate, I remember learning about this in my APS history class. Uh, Watergate essentially was Nixon tapping all the phones, basically wiretapping. Yeah. 
and then using it to run his campaign and to go against the Democratic Party. Uh, but however, compared to what people are doing nowadays, yeah, it's, it's like so a baby, like kid play. Maybe taking a cookie from a candy jar. I know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, it's so bad. But now I'm thinking about what the shit the political parties do now, especially a certain political party. I'm just like, fuck is nothing. It uh, isn't exactly the. The best. <clears throat> Have it on speed, you just make sure it's not. That's fine. I mean, you can speed it up if need be. Oh, fun fact. Peas were one of the very first vegetables Black humans cultivated. Freedom. Yeah, peas were one of the first vegetables we cultivated. What? I fucking love peas. They're so damn good. Ah, did not know that. A utopian ideal. Yeah, if I it's so easy to, you can, anyone can, you know, make peas, plant peas. We'll try speed three. As soon as we go unstable. Oh, no, you're lagging. Okay. I'm gonna send Tur, I'm gonna send you a oh my phone just Why did my phone die? It's been plugged in. Oh no, it just reset. What the fuck? I'm gonna send you a meme, Trev. Okay. Did you see that I sent about Biden? I did. Fucking hilarious. Dude, yeah. Doctor said I have dementia. Bitch, I don't remember asking. Alright. All right, well, we're, th we're back at one. Uh, do you want to call it here for a little bit? I don't know. Like, I'm kind of I'm enjoying this because I want to see how f I want I want to get to the point where it's some. I'm almost done with my tech tree. How about this? I got one, two more things to research, and then oh, I'm done. We, okay. So we could probably go to the end of the year. Yeah, that to, works to November too. or a little bit further, depending on how the internet's working. Yep. And I'm gonna be done reading these things since we can get this rolling. I don't know what is up with my internet. Oh shit, I got a lot of experience. Oh yeah, shit, I forget it just ticks up. Mm, these armor divisions are pretty gar garbage. No ports. <laughs> that was weird. What was? Why well, is right side of my screen went blank? It's back That's now. That's a bit but... weird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need to do land doctoring. Uh. I wonder if maneuver warfare would be the best. Yeah. I don't have the uh which card. Leftist, rightist, and pro fascist are the same place. Doesn't seem stable. And utopian ideal and then alternative uses for my uh crystals. Crystals. I think the crystals are what give you the ability to manufacture your magical weapons. Pretty much. Something about. Yeah. So they keep gam gambling about, uh, as all children should. All right. A few more days, then get my alternative uses, and then in another fourteen days, a beacon in the north. Is salt. Italy. Okay then. Peace in the Middle East, huh? The Italians won. Interesting. Trouble news from a troubled land. Aircock severely injury injured in the Kiev bombing. Hmm. 
Man, this world is so fucking fractured, it's not even funny. Yeah, this is a messed up world. Yeah, I'll say. South America has changed, though. What's new? Um, looks like... Oh, except for Guiana, I guess. Because there's like... no British or Dutch claims. The Jerusalem Conference. Senate election results are in. Uh... Oh. Peace. Wow. What? So, there were... They gained about... 20 seats so there's now 30 far right national progressives and so 36 national progressives and 62 republican democrats that's there are more far right national progressives than there are democrats the the republicans have the largest of 37 oh alternative uses and a beacon of the north or in, oh, I need spreading. The, oh, I need spreading the word as well. Oh, I needed both of them. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, we can do that one because it's internet's running fine. Yeah, I'm like, I'm running fine now. All right. I expect if it. No, no. Pause it for a second. Yes, keep paused. I have to do some stuff. The everlasting legacy of the right. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god! If it's those little fucking things, I hate those things. <clears throat> Sergey was not sure why Ivan had decided. A random barn, two villages north of the closed perfect place to play around with a magic crystal. It certainly wasn't sterile, and it was an annoyingly long drive from Sergei's home. At least Alexei had brought some vodka and lots of it so they could at least have some fun while they contract frostbite. I'm going to shoot it with my gun, said Eva as he stumbled around uh, fishing for her pistol in his back pocket. Yeah, wait, what? She barely had time to barely had time to question what was happening as a gunshot rang out and a bright flash illuminated the barn. Bruh. <laughs> she just shoot a magic crystal. You know what? You can see again. That sounds they might be ponies, but they're still Russian. True, true, with lots of vodka. He saw that the crystal was gone in its place what appeared to be a floating glowing ring. The ring acted as a window. Showing a view of an entirely different setting from the small barn the group of scientists sat in. Then the thing flew. Th- then a thing flew through the portal. It was shaped like an orb with two pairs of wings, four legs, and had large compound eyes like an insect. And then the glowing ring disappeared with a small plop. Sounding after several minutes of screaming, crying, and drunken shouting, Alexei managed to get it trapped in a crate of vodka. Then emptied out. I've been summed up everyone's thoughts pretty uh, subsequently. Once everything had calmed down. What the fuck is that? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's not from Earth, replied Sergey. All he knew was that they definitely had to try this again back at the lab. Maybe Karma hey, like with it. Gun. What? It worked. Now we go back to a lab and we test what shoot with gun do in safer space. But we. St- don't ask me how I know, but with the thing, with the picture down here at the Still bottom left, gun. Russia. what has happened, what has come through, we do not want that. Oh, perfect. I got uh, two more divisions ready to be placed down. Excellent. The army is growing. Dear manpower. Manpower is not too bad still for, you know, not having anything. Yeah. Pretty- just be careful not to run out of manpower and equipment. Yeah. The only thing that seems to... Well, the Russian states will fight amongst themselves. I think as we get further into the year, uh, your it just gets more fun because there's some wars that get to happen. Good. I'd like to test my armies. All right. got, the, <laughs> got the 101st rolling around Madagascar. And then Fritz just rolling around. Yeah, or I guess flying in their helicopters. Where are they again? Madagascar. Yeah, Madagascar. They're about to capture the capital of one of the places. Oh, you're. Oh, I assume they just captured it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm watching them now. Or at least them two. Oh. Oh. Okay. Heinrich Kimmler has a new. Congrats. Not exactly the words everyone wants to hear. 
and not really something uh, All right, did Arab Kingdom? Oh, I can't answer this question. No. Yeah, no. Spreading the word. And a beacon in the north. I'm going to shoot it with my gun. Pop. Stop. I'm. I mean, in the name of science, I guess. Oh, fuck. Oh, you Japanese rat bastard. I have, a, I have a story to tell you, and you're going to have to trust me on this one. It's... A hey, horse, you heard me right. Well, I'll point you to be precise. I was that one talking about it. Duel now. These bastards are attacking me. Huh? What? Okay. Oh, the Japs have sent air assault troops of their own. Oh. So now there's like... It's like we were soldiers, but if both sides were using helicopters. That is downright terrifying thinking about it. This is yeah. where? In Madagascar? Yes. It, near that one city yeah. that I already captured. The 101st are holding. I had to throw my last stand, though. Oh my god, this is bloody as fuck. Holy Dude. shit. A free Bulgaria? Who saw that coming? I did not. How many divisions can the Japs send? Holy shit. Well, because they are, you know... Seven touch lines. Oh my god, we held. Okay, but for how bad was that? Wow, we lost 834 men and 12 helicopters. They lost eight. Damn. Fucking planes here? Alright, well, let's send some planes, can we? No, no, zero of our planes. But oh, I can send another division. Well, that's good. Okay. The important news the 101st are holding. Eh, it's a Panzer Division. Oh, we're fighting Nazis, some rebels, and a coalition government backed by the U.S. This sounds familiar. Just a little bit. All right, we need to get around their lines. 82nd, I got a job for you boys. <laughs> Are we not moving? Oh. Oh, they quest Ferris. Welcome to Project Ferris. Oh, you get to open the portal now or work with the, per the portal. Oh, okay. Pause it, then I want to read this. Okay. Well, I'll keep it on one speed because I got I to gotta fight this. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, also because it says President Nixon. Your approach at gate of a facility or source, one that runs along oh, yeah. a tall chain link fence that stretches endlessly to where your eyes in the bunker there is a bunker in the middle of the facility the driver parked the car in front of his entrance as guarded by two more soldiers who give you a salute and you step outside the car what the hell is this from your yes this is this from your perspective okay the elevator stops door you approach the source of light in dimness. The computer is, play is piece of technology decades ahead of the 60s that the project has somehow acquired. On a keyboard, it is lit with rainbow colored uh, RGB keyboard. <laughs> they have an RGB keyboard? It's fucking stupid. They just tap my, you know. Ooh, look at the pretty that. lights. Look at the pretty lights. So, what is going on in this? <laughs> Your pony is at like an american facility yeah i know so you approach a gate of a facility a source that runs along the tall chain link fence that stretches endlessly where your eyes can see it took only one glance for the soldier guarding the gate to give the signal open the gate the driver moves your car inside there's a bunker in the middle of the facility the driver parks the car in front of the entrance as guarded by two more soldiers who give you a salute you step out of the car you walk inside the building when one of them opens the door for you as the door has been closed behind you, the room begins to dim, and the lights from the door are shut. You see, can see nothing except for an elevator waiting for you. You enter the elevator, press a few buttons, the door closes. It is still pitch black inside the elevator. You wonder where the fucking money you poured into this project went if you can't even install lights in the damn thing. The elevator stops and the door is open. The room beyond is surprising, unsurprisingly also unlit, except for a dim light emerging from a center of the room. You approach the source of the light of the darkness. What lies in front of you is what the scientists call a gaming computer. <laughs> it is a piece what of technology ahead of the 60s that the project has somehow acquired. 
<laughs> Andy you Keith. guys have a... Let me just I'm okay. just looking down at my computer and just like this thing could probably too. this thing could probably run a man thing to mass to the moon. On the keyboard, lit with a rainbow color and RGB keyboard the boys call it. You type in the following words. Oh my god. I hate it. What are the words? Pink ah! What? Pinkie Pie is best pony 1913. A synthetic voice speaks out of the machine as it rolls alive and other the words, Welcome to Project Ferris, President Nixon. <laughs> Project Ferris entities cannot be viewed from the bottom right. An entry from Dr. Hart can be viewed and an entry from Dr. Strinsen can be viewed. What? 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 The Look at the bottom right of the fucking corner. What? Records. Records? I don't... Oh my god, there's so many. Is it the ledger? Right above I the don't ledger. I have one. Yeah, I don't have one. You don't? No. Oh, there's an audio log for it. It must have been a joke that, like, it, they nicknamed it President Nixon. Because I don't have anything that, does, that deals with it. All right, well, um... Oh, cunt wagons. The Japs are back on the attack. Later Can I on, speed I'll, it up a little bit? Uh, later on, yeah. Later on, I'll play the... the vlog. I think it's audio recorded because there's a shit ton in here, and I'm not reading all that. Wait a second. And a beacon in the north. And now I'm out of national focuses. Fuck, how do we stop that armor division? I should have sent my own tanks instead of just air assault. Just hold out for... Few more hours, 101st, just a few more hours. A Japanese airbase has to be destroyed. That don't look like it's going very well. Oh, second session. This can't be real. This can't be real. Wait, no, no. Oh my god, I only got a little more. Looking outwards, a horse walks into a barge. It makes decisions to begin developing our economy early on using crystals. Yes, 21 days, but yes, give me. Oh my god. And speaking of which, how's my construction coming on? Right, let's go use some crystals for more uh, construction. Yeah, well, that's in some infrastructure. You can never go wrong with infrastructure. Which I got so much fucking political power, I'm just gonna use this shit. Might as well. Makes sense. I'm saving mine in case I need it. Very well then, to Kamchatka we go. Oh, God. Okay. New entry. Uh, check on the project interface. A new entry? Oh, there's another entry, just miscellaneous. Oh my god, there's so much shit. Okay. Charting a course. Well, to Kamchatka we shall go then. Give me a speech. Fuck it. Fuck it, I'm putting my men on the border of Kamchatka, so it seems like we're going to Kamchatka. I go deal with Kamchaka first, I'm fine with that, although I don't think I'll get anything from the fucking place. Besides the Navy, yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, well, oh yeah, it'll give me a fucking port. That would be useful. And a Navy. And a Navy. That would actually be very freaking useful.
espionage. I don't got any civilian factories, so I can't do shit with that. If you want to speed it up, feel free. All right. Sometimes it feels like these kind of things could be a, in an adventure novel. Could they be planning another revolution? Who? I see it. Okay, so I need to own a lot of stuff in order to get the uh, Siberian, Harm uh, Siberian Harmonist Socialist Republic. Economy. Oh my god! <laughs> Painting the red fleet pink. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, and it's a battleship, Texas. Either Texas or Arizona, one of the two. <laughs> oh, why is that so funny? No, oh, I have Damn no, it, Adam. I have no sense of humor. Actually, hold on. I might be able to pin. Oh shit! Wait, work. can I get a pony brigade now? I need anti tank equipment. What the fuck? Basic anti tank equipment. Okay, switch that from uh. I don't have support. No need for that. So I might as well just get anti tank equipment. Insufficient resources. Tungsten. No shit. Oh, new entry in the project. I don't care. A horse walks into a barge. Oh, shit. That's awesome. What? I just got Camp Chaka for free. Yeah, you can get a lot of that stuff. It's going to be pretty useful early I, on. Yeah, now I got an actual fucking navy. Let's get. Oh, we need a uh, production. GDP modifier. Okay, yes. I'm well aware with all these. I can't hear what he's saying. Oh, he's playing it double. Oh, I'm so sorry, people. Free dockyard! Yay! Oh my god, I can only build convoys. I got no ships. That's okay. Let's start working on convoys. He's dude shit. Should be capitulated. Why is Camp Chaka not wanting to, uh. What? They're not accepting harmony. Why are you? Why are you resisting? Pretty sure they'll accept it as well. And they or will what? accept it one way or another. They what? So they will yes. accept it one way or another. A new entry. I'll. Entry later. Stop it with the fucking entries. Yeah, paint the feet ray pink. Oh my god, so the pink fleet. This is hilarious. 
So the iron hulks that make up the old Pacific were imposed on, were imposing to the eye. So you're geek. Good morning, comrades. So these are really beautiful ships. I can't wait to get to work on them, she exclaimed. Ah, blue, we won't be working on them. I believe they should be sold. What? He mumbled, hoping she could hint. The cost of maintaining these old boats compared to selling them off is... Oh, come on, Sergei. She continued, lightly nudging this look at them. Aren't they pretty? They'd be prettier if they were nice and shiny. And imagine what we could do with them. Throw parties! Let's have glass <laughs> and smash fascists. I won't go with smashing fascists. I never grew was it didn't. Okay, so my opinion stands. We make money. I could increase it. This will increase my liquid reserves by 10% of our GDP, totaling to 0.015. Yay. Or I can refurbish and recommission the fleet. I'll take the ships. Ooh, doctrines for what? Land doctrine. Maneuver Warfare, I think, would be the best one. Yeah. I now have ships! Yay! I was like, I can't upgrade that ship. There's no fucking hull to it. Oh, we got this airport on Hitler. He will uh, be dying soon. Goody. I can't. I don't think I have anything to build ships now, do I? Yeah, no, I still don't got halls. What is my research for? Sh All right, this is the first step in the Cold War to bullying Germany, and it's going well. Probably gonna research destroyers. That destroyers and submarines might be the mainstay of your, you know, navy for a while. Pretty much. God, they have so they like how many fucking Panzer divisions these guys got. Oh, those are two SS divisions. Well, the SS versus American air assault troops. Oh We're my about God. to see how it matches up. That should be interesting. What is my penalty when attacking across the river? Oh my God, there's none. There, there's no penalties with air assault units. That is terrifying. Like, oh yeah, get, okay, they get a river crossing of a negative five percent of their attack. Oh, yeah, but their attack is still four times higher than the defending German infantry division. That's the problem. I need to harm, harmify uh, Kamchaka. That's why. I'll lose 50 crystals. But now they shouldn't be... Yeah, okay. Now they're not pissed off about being... you know. Oh, I should have told you. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same thing uh, with other Russian factions. Once you conquer it, you have to core it. Or in this case, harmonize it. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That, 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 yes. that, that like makes a lot of sense. Yes. I did not inform of that. No, you didn't. But I'm probably just going to hey, focus on have. submarines. Since you can starve them out that way. All right. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oops. Yes. Falter. That's good. We did it. All right. I think we won. Yes. Out with I the won. crash, or out with a crash. I love the music. Ooh. The free French are the rem There's a French. Yeah, speaking of navy, well, let's get you and your little admiral here. Even Yuminsky. There you go. And I don't have any aircraft to you. I got a lot of shit I need if I can get done. Goddamn. Oh my god. Okay, economic. Phase one. Our inflation each. Oh, jeez, I don't like that. I only got. Oh, I got a lot of stockpile left for crystals. Okay. So let's provide planetarian aid. Let's start with our economic plan development phase number one. Now we get a little bit of inflation, but such so as the cost of spending. Oh, I have five factories now. Beautiful. Well, 
What does the school do? What is what? What does the school do? Uh, increases research speed. Oh, that's good. Pretty sure. Administration hospital, military base, prisons. Hmm. Ah, railways. How many? I don't have any fucking railways. I gotta get a fucking railway network. That is probably a good idea. Just thinking about it. Oh, I need, okay, I need a lot of. Hey, more efficiency. Okay, now let's research. I got helicopters, but I don't got planes. I mean, I got old planes, but no. Oh, Oh, I got a hundred percent boost on that one. Yeah, pl yes, please. Gladly. Okay, you want me to, you want to speed it up or? Yeah, I can. Oh, I gotta fucking switch this thing. That's already an hour. Fuck. 